Drones make the ideal soldiers in the age of computers. They murder without hesitation, submit without joking, and never disclose who their masters are. Furthermore, the age of flying cars will never arrive, but the time will come when flying drones will transport people. The buzz quickly turned into the rattling sound of an outboard motor. Without the advancement of science and technology, no nation could ever hope to stand onto the world. Any scientific discovery has the potential to revolutionize human existence. Drones now play a crucial role in the operations of many businesses and governmental agencies. Having said that, Shahed 136 and 149 Gaza are taking the lead over the skies. Look forward to know more about these drones. Let's jump in. The Shahed 136, also known as the Geranium 2 in Russian service, is highly regarded for its anti-radiation skills, which are important for suppressing air defenses and homing in on emissions from adversary ground-based radars while having enough range to strike into Ukraine. The Shahed-136 is a single-use tool made to be used as a weapon with its explosive loaded body, earning them the nickname kamikaze or suicide drones because they resemble a cross between an unmanned aircraft and a cruise missile conceptually. The planes are far more affordable than the cruise missiles that Russia has spent a lot of money on. And since the government has plenty of money thanks to the high price of oil, they can be a beneficial addition to the guided weapons that are provided by Russian's own military industry. The Shahed-136 is anticipated to be valued more for the amount of firepower a fleet of them can deliver with high accuracy and at a low price. The asset has become more and more effective at making up for Russia's lack of stealth aircraft that could overcome Ukrainian air defenses, lack of specialized aircraft for suppressing air defenses, and limited stock of standoff missiles. The Shahed-129, an older aircraft that resembled the MQ-1 Predator, has been replaced with a larger, heavier, and more powerful version. It features a 35-hour flight time, a 1,200-mile range, a 21-meter wingspan, a 350 kmh cruising speed, and the ability to carry 13 bombs and 500 kilograms of electrical equipment. It is the first UAV from Iran to be propelled by a turboprop. In instance, the drone's claimed true flight range of up to 2.5 thousand kilometers is in doubt given its 200 kilogram weight, 2.5 meter wingspan, and 50 horsepower motor. By the way, the MD-550 engine is available for purchase on AliExpress, and given the Iran-related sanctions, it is likely that the other parts of the drone are similarly made of civilian materials. Regarding the guidance system for the Shahed-136, it is most likely only capable of using civilian-class satellite navigation and can only target stationary targets. There is no information available regarding the warhead's power, although given the 200-kilogram overall weight of the drone, it is unlikely to be more than 25% of the weight. The Iranian aircraft industrial company makes these unmanned aerial vehicles, Therefore, the Shahed-136 aren't actually homemade, HESA. HESA engineers, however, have restricted access to contemporary electronics and components as a result of Iran being under U.S. sanctions for more than 40 years. On September 12, 2022, a Shahed-136 Garand II was shot down in Ukraine close to Kupiansk in the Kharkiv region. Shahed-136 strikes have been documented since mid-September along the whole front line, with a focus on the south as a result of the launch systems of these UAVs being situated in Crimea. The Shahed-136 potentially attacked targets everywhere in Ukraine, given its reported flight range of 1,000 km, but the Russians have not yet ventured to fire drones over great distances. It would appear that such slow-moving targets are simple pickings for air defense, and our defenders are already decimating the attacking Shahed-136 in large numbers. However, there are some issues. First, flocks of 5 to 10 of these UAVs are employed. 
Five drones are housed in each launcher in a typical vehicle container. Radars have a hard time picking up the Shahed-136 since they are also quite small, have a composite structure, and fly at low altitudes. Another Iranian unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, used by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard is the Shahed-149 Gaza in recognition of the Palestinians' battle against Israel during the Israel-Palestine crisis of 2021. It was revealed on May 21, 2021 and given the name Gaza Strip. In 2022, it was given to the IRGC Aerospace Force. The American MQ-9 Reaper and the Gaza drone are both high-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned aerial vehicles (UAVs). It features a 35-hour flight time, a 1,200-mile range, a 21-meter wingspan, a 350 kmh cruising speed, and the ability to carry 13 bombs and 500 kilograms of electrical equipment. It is the first UAV from Iran to be propelled by a turboprop. It is bigger than current drones and has a turboprop engine. In a later interview with the head of the IRGC Ground Forces drone unit, the drone was brought up, and rumors quickly spread that its operational range was very similar to that of the US-made MQ-9 Reaper. It can be stated that the UAV used in Gaza was most likely the identical UAV that the IRGC chief commander had in mind. The Gaza UAV has been described as having a flight duration of 35 hours and a diversification of tasks in the fields of surveillance, fighting, and reconnaissance. It can transport 500 kilos of various information and signal gathering devices for environmental monitoring within a radius of 500 kilometers, together with 13 bombs up to an operational radius of 2,000 kilometers. This drone's design is comparable to that of the Shahed-129, which has retractable landing gear, wings that are perpendicular to the longitudinal axis of the fuselage, a dual V-shaped tail, and a propeller engine with four blades at the end of the fuselage. Due to its ability to carry a half ton of cargo, the Gaza UAV can conduct reconnaissance and electronic warfare missions up to a radius of 500 kilometers. This is demonstrated by the presence of the most complete and well-equipped set of electro-optics ever seen on an Iranian UAV on the Gaza UAV. This system also includes a thermal imager camera and a laser rangefinder in addition to a day vision camera with a zoom capacity of at least 100 to 120 times. On this cutting-edge platform, cameras with additional light spectrums will be added. The dome section's design, as well as the drone's front, demonstrate that the Gaza UAV is fitted with satellite communication antennas. The Gaza UAV is a desirable way to serve as a communication node in addition to its regular missions because of the possibilities of satellite communication, as well as the continuity and flight ceiling, as well as the ability to carry several hundred kilograms of equipment. Here we are towards the end. That is all for today, folks. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time. Adios.